but Crouch Dash is a key movement option for Kazuya. It propels him forward a good distance while also making his upper body intangible to attacks. The default input is a Z-Motion or Shoryuken input. You can chain multiple Crouch Dashes together if you do the inputs fast enough. This is called a Wave Dash. In fact, this is the origin of Smash Brothers Melee's Wave Dashing. This is a good way to close the gap between you and your opponent if they're far away. But there's more to this move than you might think at first. I've got three tips to share about the Crouch Dash, all of which will help you optimize your movement and punish options. The first thing to know is that you can delay the attack input out of a Crouch Dash. You can input an attack at any time during the Crouch Dash by pressing Attack or Special. Depending on when exactly you press the button, the attack may be delayed. You can take advantage of this to mix up your attack timing and potentially punish the opponent right after a shield or a dodge. But if you delay the attack input for even longer, you'll get Demon God Fist. You usually have to stand up from a crouch and press the attack button while rising to execute the move. But the game also treats the end of a crouch dash as a while rising moment, since you go from a crouch to a standing animation. Just do a crouch dash, return the stick to neutral, and wait for Kazuya to stand up before pressing A. You can use this as a potential tech chase punish option on the ground if you think the opponent won't do a getup attack. There's actually a faster way to get Demon God Fist out of Crouch Dash, which I'll go over a bit later. You can chain multiple Crouch Dashes together if you repeatedly do the Shoryuken motion on the left stick. But that can get tiring very quickly, and you may not have the time or patience to practice it that way. But if you use both the C stick and the left stick, it's much easier to chain Crouch Dashes together. Make sure your C stick is set to Tilt Attack. You dash forward, hold the left stick, and then quickly flick the C-stick down and return it to neutral. It's very important you hold the left stick and only flick the C-stick. If you don't do it exactly like this, you'll get a different result. Flicking the left stick and letting go will just do a regular dash. Holding the C-stick down too long will make you do a down tilt. Even when you do start chaining crouch dashes together with this method, you risk doing an accidental Wind God Fist if you mistime any inputs. So it's very important you master the timing of the inputs before you start spamming them repeatedly. But once you get it down, you can terrify your opponents with the sight of Kazuya shimmying across the stage at mock speed. Lastly, you can cancel the Crouch Dash into multiple different actions depending on how you tilt the left stick. After you crouch dash and reset the left stick to neutral, tilt in any of these directions to do specific options. Tilt up forward or up backward to cancel into a walk. Flick left or right to cancel into a dash. Tilt down backward to cancel into a crouch. Tilt forward on the C stick to cancel into left splits kick, which is a reflector. Any other direction will cancel into a wind god fist. You can use any combination of these options to microspace your movement and open up new attack options. Remember when I said earlier that there's a faster way to get a Demon God Fist out of Crouch Dash? Crouch Dash cancelling is how you do it. You do a Crouch Dash, return the left stick to neutral, tilt down backward to cancel into a crouch, then return the stick to neutral again, and press A. When you do the down back input this way, you don't have to hold it for very long. You can just tap down back for a single frame, and it will count as a crouch. Just make sure the stick goes back to neutral right afterwards before you press A, otherwise you'll do the wrong move. 